Hey, this is Zaplevavi from LinkedInRef.com and it's time for another viewer request. And in this video, we're going to learn Chet Atkins' beautiful arrangement of the Looney Tunes Merry Melodies main theme tune. Now, first I'm going to play it for you and then we're going to break it down lick by lick with tabs on the screen and everything. We're going to dissect this note by note, finger position by finger position. But first, it goes like this. You begin with a D chord. Okay, now the first lick is just this. It's D. You play the entire D chord and then you take the second finger off of the E string and you pick open E string, three on the B string, and open E string again. And with the B string, you play the A bass. Okay? This, uh, this composition, this arrangement, uh, includes the Travis picking that Chad Atkins employs, which means that you alternate the bass, the bass notes all the time. First bass, second bass, first bass, second bass. Um, it's just one five, one five, one five inside the chord. So... It's D, A. Now, this, the next line, the second line, is this. Now, you leave your third finger on three on the B string, and on the E string you pick two, one, two. Now, with the first F sharp note, two on the E string, you pick the D bass. With the second F sharp note, you pick the A bass. And then you pick three on the B string. Got it? D, A. So together, these two licks sound like this. Next lick. Next lick goes like this. Faster. This is just a reverse turnaround, a reverse blues turnaround. Okay, in reverse. So, what you're doing here is picking um, the entire lick. Let's play the bass notes first. The bass notes, you pick the G string and the E bass. First with an open E string and one on the G string. Then with two and two on both E and G strings. Then three and three. Then four and four. Now, Along with uh, the first E bass with one on the G string, you pick the high E string. So you pick both E strings and the G string. And then you pick the E string again. Then, same thing as with uh, um, the... This is an E chord. This is, this is an, e, an E major third. So. And then you do the same thing with two and two. You play the E string along with it, and then E string again. And then you play three and three, and four and four. So it's... Okay? E string, E string, E string, E string. Zero and one, two and two, then three and three, and four and four. Together uh, from the top. Okay? Now, the next 
next line is a seven um, with your first and second fingers um, on two on the G string and the B string because you're gonna need both your pinky and the third finger. So the line goes like this. <laughs> Again, alternating basses. So let's play the let's play the lick first and then add the bass notes. You play this. I don't know why I find it comfortable to use my pinky all the way, but um, if you want, you can use both uh, the third finger and the pinky. I just use the pinky for some reason. Um, it's more comfortable for me, but you don't have to. You can use the third finger for the third fret and your pinky for the fourth fret. So, open E string, then three, two, three on the B string, open E string, four on the B string, open E string, two on the B string. Okay, so it's Now, let's add the bass notes. A, then the D string, then A again, then the D string again. Okay? Notice a pattern here. One note is along with the bass, uh, the bass note, uh, and then one note by itself. So it's a note with the bass, then a note without the bass. With the bass, without the bass. With the bass, without the bass. Again, with, without, with, without. Okay? It's one note harmonized, one note solo. Got it? So, um... movement is D string, 4 on the A string, 2 on the A string, 0 on the A string. Open A string. So it's D, C sharp, D, A. Now, uh, first you play a D5 chord, meaning 2 on the G string, 3 on the B string. And you play all three, um, all three notes. You play the G string, the B string, and the D string. Okay, it's a D5. Now, uh, you want to keep your pinky available for you because you want to pick the C sharp note and still keep the D note ringing on the B string. So what you do is you, um, you put your first finger on the G string and your third finger on the on the B string. Um, you can put your second finger, but it's less comfortable. Um, if you use your third finger, then the pinky goes right there on the fourth fret. So you pick the D5, then you pick the B string again, and then uh, the C sharp bass 4 on the A string, along with 3 on the B string, and then the B string again, and then B and A, keeping this note ringing. So, okay, this note is still ringing. Um, so it's D. Sharp, B, A. I accidentally played this. Doesn't matter, it still sounds good. Okay, if you play it by mistake, you can say it's your own interpretation of this. So, okay. Um, this constitutes the first part 
of this composition, as short as it is, um, the, the next, th this is um, conceptually the end of the, the A part. So it's I made a mistake uh, during the A7. I didn't play. Uh, I didn't play the E flat note. I played the. I played the D note again. Anyway, let's continue. Let's go on. Um, or you want to hear it again, even slower? Listen to the bass notes. notes are A and E, so you play A and E. The lick is this, 2 and 3 on the G string, and then open B string, and then 3 on the G string again, okay? Twice. Now let's add the bass notes. Okay, it's the same formula. One note harmonized, one note solo. Bass, no bass, bass, no bass, bass, no bass, bass, no bass. The same throughout the piece. That's the that's the composition. That's the concept. So the rhythmic concept. Now this. It's just two on the G string and the E string, the open E string, three times. And again, same concept. A E A. Exactly the same rhythmic, uh, the same um, compositional concept as this and this and this. All three licks have the same concept behind them. So um, uh, again, A. the exact same lick with D and A as your bass notes. The only difference is that now it's not an open E string at the end, it's an F sharp note. It's two on the E string because it's a D chord. Okay, so it's the same lick only with D as your chord. So D, A, D, A, D, A. Okay? It's, um, it's a bit confusing for the ear when you play it slowly at first, but it works. slow it gets a bit cluttered be because of the the chromatics you see it, it becomes a bit cluttered it's a dissonant um, it's a dissonant uh, interval uh, where were we okay now there's a small break 
Okay? It's D7. And then the same uh, lick as the... Uh, it's the first lick, yeah. It's the, fr it's the same as the first, only this time it's not D, it's D7. Just add the pinky on 3 on the B string. So it's D7, open E string, 3 on the B string, open E string. And then this. This is D sharp five. Um, you put your first <clears throat> finger on the E string and your second finger on three on the G string. So um, it's you can call it G. G augment, uh, D augmented. It's a D augmented. <clears throat> you can call it D sharp five or D augmented. Um, and you play all three notes. <clears throat> Don't pick the B string. And then open E string. Two on the E string again. Three on the B string. Completing the D augmented sound. So. Now you can put this shape on, like an A minor, uh, an A minor sort um, shape, but it's easier if you just put two fingers on and then add the third one. Um, and um, it's just easier for me. If you want, you can put this shape on the complete the augmented sound. But you don't need to pick this at first, so I just put these two on and then add it. Um, after all, it's supposed to be a solo, so... Okay, D7, then D augmented. And then this lick again. Remember the reverse turnaround? It's exactly the same. Um, zero and one, two and two, three and three, without the E string, four and four. Uh, you want to play it up till now? A. Um, it's still A. D. D7. Reverse turn around. Now the ending. Okay, um, this is my ending. Chad Atkins plays something different, but uh, I wanted it to. Um, I wanted to play the original composition, so I just changed the ending and. Um, um, made this one. He plays something like that. I think, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm gonna teach you both. Now, my ending. Um, A7. No, excuse me. This is Chad Atkins ending. Let's learn Chad Atkins ending first. Um, okay, it's A7 and you play. Let's play the lick first because you already know how the bass notes go. It's, uh, a, uh, it's the A bass then the D string on two. So um, open E string then Three, two, three on the B string, open E string, um, then three on the B string again, then zero and two on the E string, then D, a D chord, and you play um, either just both D notes on the B and D strings, 
or you play D5 playing the B, G, and D strings. And then you play, so with the bass notes. And then high D. This is, um, this is D. So you just play its top three notes. 10, 10, and 11 on E, B, and G. And you play the D bass along with it. Okay, this is Chad Atkins ending. My ending uh, is um, closer to the Mary Melody's original tune. Chad Atkins made his own arrangement. I just wanted, I wanted to play what the original tune played. Um, no disrespect to Chad Atkins, <laughs> far be it from me to disrespect the master. Um, so, this is my ending. Um, A7 chord is just open E string, 2 and 3 on the B string, open E string again. on the E string, so with the bass notes. Bass, 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 bass. Now with me not talking. Then a higher D, which is at five, seven, and seven. This is D of course, so we can play or I like to do this okay use the open fan and then the high D at 10 10 and 11 both of course with the D bass so All together now. Got it? So this is Looney Tunes as arranged by Chad Atkins, the one and only. Before you go, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Then go download the tab from the website. The tab, of course, is free. This lesson is free. Everything is free. But if you want to give something back, there's a donation button on the website. And I'd be grateful for any donation whatsoever. Um, and it all goes back to Lick and Riff into making more of these lessons. Uh, you can send me requests, make the comments, um, if you want, uh, let me know how it goes, and I wish you a very good time with this. Uh, go get this under your fingers, this is an amazing, amazing, amazing uh, composition and an even more amazing guitar, uh, guitar arrangement. Very true to the original. So, go have fun, and I'll see you the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching.